I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I go through creative ruts and it's nice to try something a little bit different. In this video, I'm gonna break down a shot where I'm using long exposures and using a simple trick to give you some stunning results using the Nanolite Pavo tubes. Let's go ahead and break this down and let's cover todo el pedo. For this setup, I'm using the Westcott FJ200 and the 24 inch Beauty Dish along with the Shorty extension arm. Now the key ingredient here is my camera setting, specifically the shutter speed. Now I have my aperture at 5.6, which isn't affecting the image too much, and my ISO is at 100, but my shutter speed, I have it set to 1.3 seconds, which means I'm gonna have a long exposure. And throughout this process, when I'm creating this photograph, the flash is meant to freeze my subject, but also to reveal my subject. Because when we're creating long exposures, we wanna make sure that the location that you're shooting in is completely dark. Because it's set to 1.3 seconds, that means that sensor is gonna be absorbing light for that amount of time. So if we have any light source whatsoever in the studio, the sensor is gonna pick that up and it might affect our final results. So as I mentioned, the flash is freezing the subject. So let's say I have my subject here, then I have my flash. What's happening is my subject, it's dark in the studio once again, the flash fires, freezes the subject and also reveals the subject. But remember, because I still have about a second or so throughout this exposure, now it's time to introduce the Nanolite Pavo tube to add color and to add motion into the photograph. Now that I had my camera settings in place with shutter speed 1.3 seconds, aperture 5.6, ISO 100, and it's completely dark in the studio, now it's time to introduce the Nanolite Pavo tube, which is a continuous light source. And so what I wanted to do was to add color and motion in the final photograph. But as I was experimenting before this photo shoot, I was testing it out with my photography students. And one of the problems that kind of I was running into was I really wasn't getting the results that I wanted. I really wanted to try something completely different. So I have to give credit to my students, Esad, Deidre, and Natalie. We came up with the idea to use gaffer's tape to create this lined effect, which is the trick to this photograph. And what was cool about this trick with this lined effect is that we could try so many different things. We tried getting the line streaks going up and down. We tried creating a wave effect and also a spin effect. Now keep in mind when you are doing photographs like this, a lot of it is gonna be a lot of trial and error and you do have to have a lot of patience. It's not one of those things where you take the photograph and it's gonna look great the first time. The person that is moving the light source around is gonna to have to get a lot of the timing correct in order to get a good final result. And here are the final results of this lined effect using the gaffer's tape on the Pavo tubes. Now, I ended up going with the circle effect. I felt like for the final results, this was what I liked the most. I tried the up and down uh, effect with the tubes, but I really wasn't getting the results that I wanted. So I kind of scrapped that idea and kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, a lot of trial and error with this effect but I felt like the spin was really giving me what I was looking for. And I do also wanna thank uh, my friend Roland and Adrian, because during this photo shoot, they were the two people that were moving the light source around and it's not an easy job. And the lights are actually uh, pretty heavy, you know, after you swing them around for, for a long time. So I do wanna give credit to Adrian and Roland. Make sure you guys follow them on Instagram. I'll leave their information below, as well as the model Victoria. Before we move on, I do wanna thank the wonderful folks at Nanlite. They gave me three Pavo tubes to give away to you all. And all you need to do to enter is subscribe to the Nanlite YouTube channel, follow them on Instagram, and answer this simple question. What would you guys do with these Nanlite Pavo tubes for your portrait work? I'll be announcing the winners June 6th on Monday. So make sure to leave a comment because you have the opportunity to win as first place, win the Pavo 2 version 2 30X, second place, the Pavo 2 version 2 15X, and third place, the Pavo 2 6C. Best of luck and let's continue. 
As soon as I was done with the first concept, I still had a little bit of time to get another concept in. And so what I did was I used a V flat and some Mylar, which is this reflective material, just clamped it to each of the V flats. And the goal here was to leave the camera settings exactly the same, but this time have the Nanolite Pavel tubes, my continuous light source, shooting color into this reflective material to hopefully give me something that's a little bit more futuristic. And I'll tell you this much, it's a lot different than my typical work, but let me know what you guys think of the final results. If you guys enjoyed this breakdown, I'm gonna leave you all off with some other behind the scenes content and editing tutorials so that you guys can continue watching. You guys have a beautiful day and I will see you on the next one.